Hello and welcome to Sound and Melodies. In this episode, I'm going to show you two of my favorite ambient sound recording microphones that I use. And I'm going to show you how it sounds. We're going to take a walk and record and hear how it sounds. So the first microphone I've been using for quite a while is Shure's MV88, which was released on the year 2019. And the other one I have is Sennheiser's MBO Smart headset, which was released on 2017, which is inside this pouch. First, let me show you Shure's MV88, which is designed like this, and it goes with lightning port here. And it works with your iPhone or iPad, or you can have an adapter to convert lightning port to whatever port you need. So I use this in my iPhone for ambience recording and you just plug it in and use Shure's own software and then also for Sennheiser's MBO Smart headset you need a software from Sennheiser uh, or iOS app that you can download from app stores. So the difference between the two is this one has its mic attached so that you can plug it right in and then use and this one is designed in such a way that you can put it in your ear and then it will record left and the right in a very wide sense of sound or they'd like to call it 3d audio or binaural audio now it has some of the buttons here and the first these two buttons are for volume and this button here is to enable or disable uh, hear through and noise cancellation and the led here shows you when it's recording and the switch here that goes like that enables 3d recording so one more difference about these two devices is that when you plug into your mobile phone it can only record in 3d mode when it is placed like that so for example if i take the remote here and let's assume this is a phone then it plugs in like that to your device and it is only recording left and right when it is placed like this as you record it has one more option to bend it like that and then record in this way but again left and right it kind of doesn't work like that but if you are recording just ambience and not the video then you can just place in like that in your phone and then you can record whereas the mbo smart headphones you don't have to think about that because obviously it goes into your ears and it just goes left and right and then it can record without having to think so much about the left and right as you record videos but of course our purpose here is to record sound ambient sound for sound designing or film sound works or audio for media and if we're just recording sound it just works fine, both of them. We're now here in uh, MBO Smart Headsets app where you can see uh, different options here. There we have a situational awareness, which is uh, active noise cancelling and transparent hearing. Now this is set at uh, in off. And if we turn on to ANC, then we have a uh, active noise cancellation. It will cancel out all the noise from outside and we have a nice peaceful sound in here. And if we move to transparent hearing, we can hear the sounds from outside coming in through the earphones and I'll keep it at off. And, and there are different options for transparent hearing level and you can change it according to what you like. Then we see a graphic EQ here where you can adjust the equalizer for the sound you want. And from here you can launch uh, different apps and uh, different options to open and check and use your Sennheiser MBO smart headset. Now let us go to the Shure's MV88 and here we have an app called Audio Motive and you can see the left and the right microphones around here and this is a straightforward it, you, you connect in and you can start recording right away. However, we have some options down here, the settings option, the recording option, and the sound library that you have recorded and the configuration. If you check the, the device here, the device option, here you can select the gain of the microphone. And if you move it a little downwards, you can see different modes of recording, whether you want to record dialogue or balanced or guitar or, or general sound. And here is the most important part where you can adjust the width of the microphone all the way wide up to 135 degrees where you can record stereo wide and then reduce down to 60 degrees where you can narrow down 
the the option for recording the width of stereo and if you record wide like that you can of course in your DAW bring it down and make it mono or however you want to use it after you have recorded and these are the two apps that you need for uh, each of the microphones that you're going to use so let's go ahead and test both of them uh, let's take our phone outside connect them and record and then see how it goes and let's go outside to the same area and listen how it sounds experienced some wind noise in both of the microphones the Shure MB88 has this uh, wind jammer which reduced a little bit of noise from it and as you as you heard uh, it still had some noises in it and the MBO smart headset without any sort of uh, 
wind blocking mechanism it had some pretty serious uh, noise in there now we can try to reduce the low ends and remove some of those uh, sudden bursts of wind in the DAW. Uh, let's import the audios in the DAW and try to uh, have a workaround of how much we can eliminate those noises from each of these microphones. And you will also see how we reduce the wind noises, the, the brust uh, noises in our recordings. For that, I'm going to open our DAW Nuendo here, uh, one of my favorite DAWs that I use. And, and let's see. All right, I have imported the audio in Nuendo and I've exported the whole audio that we have in in our editing software so that this is the whole uh, audio and I'm just going to check around the area where we might have some noises here. Okay, so it starts from here, let's say. How it goes. looking fine so far okay this is the moment I go out and here we start hearing some noises if we see it in the EQ we should that's the noise that we have so that's what we're going to reduce let's move ahead all right, so we can hear around this part, we have pretty serious wind brushed around this reason. Around 50 to 100 or even 50 to less, 20 to 100 or something. And the more we move, so this is the car sound. Okay, so that's the noise from, let's separate it, pause, 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 All right, so I'm going to cut it here, bring it down, and name it as Shure MV88, because this one is the, the Shure mic, I'm going to do that and let's see which one we have for so there are some pretty serious noises Okay, immediately we hear the change of sound. There we start with, here we start with the MBO Smart headset. Now we have two different sound profiles here. The sound quality is distinct and it's different. It's more of a high range. Uh, high frequencies open and less low frequencies and it and uh, MBO Smart immediately starts with a certain low presence in the sound and here we have the brust really difficult brust of the wind and here some clipping Maybe we should have reduced the um, the gain in the microphone in from the app without any. No exp right. So this goes up here. No experience. Now this is what I'm going to use as reference for this uh, both of these two. And let's try to reduce some noise for the MBO Smart. This is our noise area, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the 
low cut up and filter type to 48 uh, the slope and like that we reduced significantly and the noise let's go outside to the same area and listen how it sounds Now, I'm not sure if it can do the job for the, the big brush of wind around here. That is still quite noisy and I'm sure this one is also very noisy. Now, what I'm going to do is use the pencil tool so that uh, while you are hearing, you can see how we can reduce a little bit of these uh, noises around here. Or the gain of the noise. And the difference between these two is significant as you can see from the waveform itself this is a bit too high uh, with its amplitude so i'm gonna try to reduce it to bring it to the same level of what this is around and see how it, how it translates and immediately it went down So we were able to bring the noise a little bit down by uh, cutting the low end and for sure MV88 as we had the wind jammer in it, it improves a lot of work for us. Now that's the part, the noisiest part that we have here or yeah so this is the noisiest part let's try applying the same thing low cut and the slope 48 let's bring it down to 200 hertz we can still hear some of the stuff here but this this thing that that hurts the ear is now gone And that's how we can treat a little bit of wind bursts so that it doesn't hurt our ears. But still, the, the impact of the wind in the microphone cannot be eliminated. So let's go ahead and export this whole file, headset. Set a rinse, export audio mix down as wind noise reduction. And if we check uh, the, the file type, we need wave and 48 hertz, sorry, not 64, 48 hertz and 24 beat. And then we're going to export this rinse and import it back in the, uh, in our video editing software and then mix it if you have one of these devices and uh, you've been using it let us know how you feel about these devices and what purposes you have been using these devices for and i will read uh, all of your comments and try to reply as well and thank you very much for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in next video bye